Hey, Dr. Andre Pines at the Premier Productivity Expert on your screen. And tonight I'm answering one of your questions. I am a community college student and I plan on going to medical school and I want to make the most of my time be the most competitive applicant I can be. And their question is, at the community college, should they focus on taking their breath requirements, right, their general electives, or should they focus on taking the prerequisites at the community college? And the kind of quandary here for the student is, they don't want it to look like they were ducking the science classes at the university, or they don't want it to seem like they don't have as an impressive of a science resume because they didn't take their science classes at a university. And what I would say to that is all that stuff is a wash. And what you should do if you want to be strategic, because before schools look at your like individual parts of your GPA and what classes you took and where you took them, the number one thing they're going to look at and screen you out on is your overall GPA. So you want to do whatever you can to make your GPA as high as possible. And so strategically, right, do you think it's easier to get an A in biology at a community college or at a university? Exactly, the community college. So you should try to take as many classes as you can at the community college of all types, of your prerequisites, of your GEs. Take as many classes as you can at the community college for a couple of reasons. One, like I said, the competition is going to be easier. It's going to be much easier. I guarantee you to take those classes in community college, so get them done, get them out of the way, don't waste your time. The second thing is, is it's cheaper. Community colleges are amazing because they're very, very cheap per unit. If you're able to take a lot of classes at community college, you might be able to transfer to a university as a senior status or as a junior status, but with more units. And that's important because if you have more units, you're able to enroll earlier in the window so you get the classes you want. The other thing is if you get enough credits, right, you have the option to be able to finish early or you have flexibility in your schedule where you can add in fun classes or different things you want to do just to explore other things outside of medicine or out of the required classes. So it really frees up your schedule. So what I would say is if you're a community college student, in community college you should have a couple goals. One is to really start working on your extracurriculars ahead of time. Don't wait till you get to the university to start getting in the clubs and doing different things. There's plenty of leadership opportunities in your community and also at your junior college. Get involved, right? The second thing is, is take as many classes as you can and strive to get all A's. Because without fail, 99.99999% of community college students, you're going to see a dip in your GPA once you go to university because the competition level steps up and you're not used to it. So why not give yourself a nice buffer by getting all the A's you can at community college so you have some fallback room. It doesn't have to be a whole panic thing where it's like, oh, I dropped from a 3.1 to a 2.9. Instead, you're like, I dropped from a 4.0 to a 3.9. Oh, yeah, okay, not too bad, right? So that's your answer. Hope that helps. If you are watching this and you have a question, why are you not submitting it to me? Send me the question. You can email me. You can fill out the contact form on my website. You can put in a question right here in the comment section on this YouTube video. You can find me on Facebook, the Premier Productivity Expert, or right Instagram and Facebook now has the at sign. I'm at Dominate Premed because I'm helping you do what? Dominate Premed.